Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. We are back, and just so people know, I want to be doing these sort of speculation theory videos and discussion videos once a week instead of bi-weekly, so it might not always be the truth, but there's always going to be, or try to every Wednesday put out some sort of discussion video, speculation video, theory video, that kind of thing. And the truth will be all mixed and mashed in there like it is right now. So, without further ado guys, let's get right into it today. We're going to be talking about some of the details that we know and have heard about from the leak for Assassin's Creed Empire. And it could be the possible story of the origin of the Assassin's Templar sort of thing. So, let's get right into it. First of all, I want to talk about the leak, and there's two main ones you want to go from. I mean, the original one that brought it all up in the first place came from a 4chan poster, and then there's a... I'll leave a link in the description so you can read it all, because there's a thread on NeoGAF that has compiled all the answers that this guy did, who's a, a supposed developer who announced this, and he, you know, said, there's no game going to be in 2016, it's going to be set in Egypt in 2017, and he had all these other details and things like that. And then the second one that followed it was the Kotaku poster, the same uh, author that uh, posted and leaked Assassin's Creed for Black Flag, Unity, and Syndicate accurately. So I did want to say that there's information that comes from both of those leaks. Now the thing is, when I say to you that I think Empire is 100% confirmed, that is because of the Kotaku poster, because he's a guy I trust when I read his information, I know he has his sources uh, in his back pocket that he can talk to through Ubisoft, and when he says something like this, I do trust him with his track record three times in a row, the last three games, he has 100% accurately leaked and reported on. So I do trust him. So people are getting confused with things that this other poster has made. Sure, this guy was the first one, and he's got plenty of things right, definitely, but he put a lot of weird information in there that's hard to know whether it's going to be true or not, especially with the game so far out, because there is room for change. So I just wanted to start by talking about that information like the origin story of the Assassins, or it's set at least, the uh, 4chan poster said, it's set before Assassin's Templars, pretty much a prequel to AC, is what he said. Now that's stuff that I'm like, cool, he said that, I don't know that that's confirmed and I don't totally believe that. His posts are things that I don't totally believe. When I see them come true, I'll believe it. The Kotaku poster never mentioned this sort of thing, and he said himself he hasn't been able to corroborate the exact things that this poster said, but he has from multiple sources inside Ubisoft that we know he has, knows that the game is going to be skipped 2016 and come out in 2017, and that it's set in Egypt, codenamed Empire. So he's the sort of post that I believe that, again, later on Ubisoft confirmed that there'd be no game this year, so he's already got half the of his leak came out accurately, whereas this 4chan poster, that's one section, whereas he talked about a lot of details, such as this character possibly getting a trilogy of games, which, of course, I would like to see. They were supposed to have naval combat, and Greece was supposed to be in it, but it got cut. Lots of details from that. So I just want to say beforehand that... I can't say whether or not it's a confirmed plot point that this will be the origin of the Assassins. It very well might not be. And I'm going to go through how it could work if they do so, and why I think uh, it may or may not be a good idea to do that. But I did want to note and talk about the leaks, first of all, of why this is a topic of discussion, and the fact that we shouldn't take that leak as seriously as the Kotaku one. Though, it's not to say that this guy might not come out right, especially the way he did post and write things, it's very... I don't know, it was very internet... internet-y, I guess, is a weird way I could say it. Whereas, you know, the Kotaku poster, he's a, a proper journalist with, you know, well-written articles that are very easy to follow and understand. So let's just say that Empire is the prequel to the Assassin's Templars, is an origin story to that sort of thing. How exactly could they do it? How would it fit into the Egypt setting? Well, the thing about the Assassin Order is it is kind of shrouded in mystery. And that's always been quite a cool point about the Assassins that I've really enjoyed, is that you know it's an ancient order, it's a bit mythological, but we don't know exactly where it started, who was the first Assassin, or who were the first group that became Assassins and used, you know, 
the hidden blade and things like that. Now we know the first recorded use of the hidden blade and it was to kill in 456 BC uh, a hidden blade was used to assassinate a Persian king. So that's the first time we knew that, and that assassin is actually in the Sanctuary in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. So you can kind of read about that there. But that's the earliest assassin we know of in terms of recorded history. We don't know how far back it goes, or if it's actually quite recently before that, or perhaps he was the first assassin for all we know. At this point, that information just isn't out there, and that's what I've always kind of liked. I enjoy uh, the mythology of it, and that it's a kind of question that it doesn't need to be answered necessarily. Now the thing is, some people have come out and claimed, no, Adam and Eve were the first assassins, don't you know anything? Well, that's also not actually accurate. Though, it does have some relation to Adam and Eve and the things that they did. Now, when you look at the assassins and how they began, we do know that it involved people with high concentrations of first civilization DNA, and that had things like the eagle vision abilities and all that sort of stuff. That was actually a common trait in the early assassins and people that formed together. Now, that came from people like Adam and Eve, who escaped and fought against the Isu and made that rebellion during that war before the Toby Catastrophe and things like that. Now that wasn't the beginning of the Assassins. The Assassins did spawn, I think, from a similar sort of ideology that Adam and Eve and those rebels held that fought against the Isu. They had a freedom in mind, free will, and that's the way they wanted to look and fight for peace for the world. Now it wasn't Adam and Eve that were the first Assassins, but it's not to say that they definitely, in some ways, were based off of each other and fought a similar type of battle, but people have got confused and are now saying, well, they were the first assassins. That's not actually totally accurate, or at least it's definitely not confirmed. Maybe they'll write it in later and say that's what happened, but I highly doubt it, especially since I was 75,000 years ago in terms of Assassin's Creed history, and we only have about 2,500 years ago worth of history where we know assassins are around. So there's a big space of time to say that assassins were around and existed, and I find that hard to believe. So, how could it fit into the Egypt setting? Well, it definitely could, you know, 456 BC, we could easily have assassins before that, it could be 50 years before that, it could be only a few years before that time. We could be talking about, you know, whether it be slaves looking for freedom and they kind of have that ideology and it could be from one guy or multiple people, you just don't really know. But I wanted to bring up some interesting points that uh, was discussed in the latest Kill Connor Club episode. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, where James, myself, and Nick, also known as the Creed, a new Assassin's Creed YouTuber, uh, we discussed possibilities for how the Templars and Assassins started. And perhaps because we know Assassins and Templars both uh, want peace above all else. Now, the thing about the Assassin Templars is, is they have similar goals, but the way they go about it is really what differentiates them. The Assassins want freedom and free will to be creative, to be individuals, is how the Assassins see the way to bring peace about, whereas Templars feel that control and having sort of dictatorship and a sort of real hierarchy to society that is more controlled is the only way to have peace because with free will it only brings chaos. So perhaps though with those original goals in mind, the Assassins and Templars were once one. They were one order, one organization that were in very early days but maybe rose quite high and there was a dispute between maybe the two leaders or two uh, parties involved in that group that ended up splitting between each other and that not only explains perhaps how they all began but also why they're arch enemies look there's plenty of historical groups around there that fight for peace and freedom and all this and that and the other but why is it that the assassins and the templars are sworn enemies of each other there has to be a real well, in some sense, there has to be an origin point to that, right? There has to be a reason that they are polar opposites and they fight against each other and they are famously known to each other's organizations. So it's not a far stretch to think that they were somehow involved and worked together for a period, and we see a tease of that in Assassin's Creed 3, that their goals are similar, with Haytham and Connor working together, and there is some sort of common ground they can find, but eventually there is a separation there and a split that just doesn't work out.
Now, sure that's a possibility to happen, it could fit in the Egypt setting, time period wise it could definitely fit into the lore and be prior to any recorded history of the assassins that we know right now, that we could then discover using Sage DNA, Desmond Sun, all that stuff, but the, I would argue that it's a terrible idea. Not necessarily a terrible idea, but just, it's definitely concerns me telling that sort of story. Now the reason for that is, it puts a definition to something that was popularly undefined. People haven't been screaming around like, but how did they start? What happened? Who was the first assassin? Sure, the questions have been asked, but in an overall sense, it's something that if it's never answered, no one's going to be hurt by it. You know, we're not going to be sitting there like, but damn, we never knew how they started. It's that thing that's like, they've always fought. It's like that mystery and sort of mythology to the franchise that's always been around and that you can't really argue with in a sense. You're just like, I wonder how it started. That's a cool mystery. It just makes the Templars and it makes the Assassins very mythical and very special because they're so ancient, we don't even know how they began. And when you put a definition to that, it might be awesome because they might tell the best story in an awesome setting and we're like, that was so cool. Oh my goodness, how amazing was that? What a cool start to the Assassins. And it just kind of boosts up the whole franchise because you can go from every Assassin and be like, it began from this guy who we really like or this group of people that we like in this story. It was really cool. Now that works out great, doesn't it? In this awesome world where everything's great. But the problem is, there is then the opportunity for disaster. Now the reason I think it's a concern of mine to tell this story is because you're putting a big risk on your game. A risk that you don't need to take and you're not really in the position to take right now as a franchise. Assassin's Creed has had to take a year off because there is franchise fatigue with fans, the games haven't been hugely popular in terms of uh, unanimously liked, though there's been some good ones and some bad ones, a bit of hit and miss, there's been no unanimously loved game that's really Assassin's Creed-esque since the Ezio trilogy. Black Flag's a popular one for many gameplay reasons and there's a lot to learn from that game, but not necessarily as an overall story that fits in together in this long arc of storyline. Whereas if you're telling the origin of the Assassins, that affects all the games now. And that's a big risk to tell. So when you're in that sort of position where you're in trouble, there's a lot of high risk already to your next game and it needs to do well. And now you're putting an even bigger risk by going, we're going to define this whole franchise. Because if you screw it up, that then screws up the franchise. And I'm not just saying for the future, and I'm not just saying for how people will like the franchise. I'm talking about all the past games are now affected. You are defining the Order of the Assassins, you're defining its creed, you're defining the Templars, and you are then affecting all the games that have come before it and all the games that will come after it. And that's a real concern to me because if you screw that up, that's a problem. That will then go to people, well, who cares, the Assassins were shit when they started, what a dumb order that was because it's a stupid game. Like, that could happen. It could just be average and then it's like, well, uh, even if it's average, it's still a bit of a downer, you know what I mean? You've defined this mythological order that's older than recorded history and it's just kind of average, it's just kind of, uh, you know? It really is a sort of story that you have to nail and you're putting yourself at a big risk when your franchise is already at some level of risk, if that makes sense. But that's just my thoughts on it. I would like to know what you guys think, because it is a concern to mine. Now, let me know what you guys think of the whole scenario. Do you think it's possible that this is the type of story we're going to see, an origin story or a prequel story to the Assassin's Templar's War? Do you guys want to see that story told, and how would you like to see it told? Now, I gave one view that has been talked about and was brought up on the Kill Connor Club by James and Nick, but I want to hear your thoughts. Is there another story you think is likely to be told? What kind of leak do you believe? Like, I do feel like it's accurate and uh, and at least somewhat legitimate to say that the Kotaku leak can be trusted far more than this 4chan anonymous poster. That's all I think. 
Uh, and also, just let me know what you think overall about the risk of it all. Is it something you want to see? Do you think it's too big of a risk and they should avoid it? Or do you think, Tyler, maybe calm down, it's not that big of an impact, even though I really do think it is. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new to get all new awesome discussion videos about the next Assassin's Creed games, past games, all that awesome stuff, more theory videos from the truth, and all things Assassin's Creed. Thank you guys, and I will see you later.